Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and welcome to part one of building our CRUD application from scratch. So essentially what we're gonna do in this tutorial is install our packages, set up our Express application and connect to our MongoDB database. So to get started, I'm just gonna go to File. I'm gonna go to Open Folder. I'm gonna right click, go to New. We're going to create a new folder. So I'm just going to call it MongoDB underscore CRUD. Let's select it. And afterwards, what I want to do now is let's open up the terminal. And from here, I'm just going to type CLS to clear the terminal. And that's because there's a visual bug with Visual Studio Code at the moment. And what I want to do now is install our packages that our application is going to be dependent on. So I'm going to type npm init. And we're going to pass in the flag Y to get the default values. And now I want to install the body parser module. And the body parser module is going to be used to parse JSON between the client side and the server side. Next, we're going to install Express. And we're just going to use Express for routing. Next, we're going to install MongoDB. And this is just going to be the MongoDB drivers. And this is going to help us connect to our database. And last but not least, we're going to install the path module. And we're going to be using the path module just to serve a static HTML file to the user. So now that we have our packages installed, I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to hit Control B to bring up the Explorer. I'm going to go to package.json. I'm just going to change the main to app.js. And this is just a personal preference. I prefer app.js as opposed to index.js. So now I'm just going to save that. Let's close out of this. We're going to create two files. I'm going to create my app.js file. And our second file that we're going to create is going to be called db.js. And this is where we're going to actually connect to MongoDB. Now from here, I want to code our app.js file first. So I'm just going to click here. Control B, get rid of that explorer. And we could get rid of the terminal for now. And what I want to do is start importing our modules that we just installed. So I'm just going to say const express is equal to require express. And let's give a space here. And next, what we're going to do is bring in our body parser module. Afterwards, Let's create an instance of our Express application. So I'm just gonna say const app is equal to Express and let's call it. Now we're gonna tell our Express application to use the body parser module. And we're gonna be parsing JSON data sent from the client side to the server side using the body parse module. Next, let's require our path module. After that, let's bring in our database stuff. So I'm just going to say const db is equal to require db. And last but not least, we're going to have one more variable here and we're going to call it collection. And we're going to call the collection to do. So we're going to have a database and that database is going to have a collection within it called to do. And that's going to hold all our to do's. So now let's head over to our db.js file. And now we're just going to import our MongoDB driver. So I'm just going to say const Mongo client is going to be equal to require MongoDB. And we're going to require the Mongo client from it. We're also going to require the object ID from the MongoDB module. So I'm just going to say const object ID is going to be equal to require MongoDB dot object ID. Next, let's give our database a name. So I'm just going to say const db name is going to be equal to, and I'm just going to call it crud mongodb. After that, we're going to code our URL. And this is basically the default location of where your mongodb would be located on your local machine. So I'm just going to type mongodb localhost. 27017. And the last configuration that we're going to give our database is the options that we could pass in. So I'm just going to say Mongo 
options and we're going to be using the new URL parser. Let's set that to true. So now let's actually give this a state. So we're going to be using this db.js file to actually create the connection between Node.js and our MongoDB server. So now I'm just going to say const state and the default state of this is going to be equal to null. So this is going to signify that, hey, we don't have a database yet. Next, let's actually write our connect method. So I'm just going to say const connect is going to be equal and we're going to pass in a callback and we're just going to say the following. If state dot DB, so if there is a database connection, we're just going to call the callback. If there isn't a database connection, we're going to use the Mongo client to connect to the database. And here we're going to check if there's any errors. If there's an error, we're going to pass it back to our callback. If there's no error, we're going to set the state. And then we're going to call our callback. All right, so this is our connect method. Let's not forget to add the semicolon here. And we got two more functions to code. So let's get to it. So the next function that we're going to code is to get the primary key. So I'm just going to say const get primary key. And they're going to pass in the ID of the document. And all we're going to do is return object ID. And we're going to pass in the ID that they passed in to us. And this is going to return an object ID object which will be used to actually query the database by the primary key. Next, let's actually create a method to actually get the database. So we're just going to say get DB. And I'm just going to say return state dot DB. So now let's actually expose all these functions that we created. So I'm just going to say module that exports. And I'm just going to say get DB connect and get primary key method. All right, so now I'm just gonna save this. And now let's head back to our app.js file. So now that we have all this set up, let's actually connect to our database. So now I'm just gonna say db.connect. And this is the function that we just created in our db file. We're gonna pass in a callback. And we're gonna say if error, we're going to console.log unable to connect to database. And we're going to terminate the application. And we should probably wrap this within curly braces. And if we were able to connect to the database successfully, we're going to say else app.listen. And you could use whatever port that you want. I'm just going to use port 3000 and we're going to pass in a callback and we're just going to say connected to database app listening on port 3000. So now if I was to save this, let's put a semicolon here and then save it. Let's go open up a terminal, type CLS again. I'm going to type node app. And you can see that we got no error. So that means we bypassed this error statement and we executed our else statement. So we're connected to the database and our app is listening on port 3000. So this is where we're going to stop in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over the read portion of our CRUD application.